Welcome back. My name is Riley. If you didn't watch my other video, my one other video on here, <laughs> I make videos of unboxing and reviewing none other than Universal Yums, a delicious snack box that compiles snacks from around the world and each month is a different country. Now there's lots of boxes like this, but I think this is the best one. Prove me wrong. So yeah, I'm gonna open this with you guys right now, today, right now. I haven't opened it yet. I got it yesterday. I didn't open it yesterday because for some reason I was sick to my stomach. I don't know why. Um, that happened to me last time this box came and I also had to film the video the day after I received it. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me again next month. It's like a weird curse. Fingers crossed, we're breaking the curse now. <laughs> but I'm here, I feel much better, and I'm ready to eat these snacks. So let's get started. Let's open this thing up. Let's see, do I have, no, I don't have scissors. Of course I don't have scissors. Just peel it off. Okay, what country did we get this month? Germany! Ooh, that's exciting. Germany. Da, 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 da. Okay. Germany, Germany, Germany. You get a fun little sticker. Okay. Before I take the snacks out. Ooh, they look good. I'm excited about these. Okay. Okay. Um get out the things just in case we can't read stuff okay so now's the portion of the thing where we take everything out and show we'll talk about what everything is toffee caramel popcorn okay okay um Erdenus flips this is some sort of peanut snack i'm guessing Should we read about it? No, because it takes me too long to find everything on each page. So, okay, there they are. Peanut buttery puffs. Okay. I have an idea of what that's gonna taste like. We'll see if I'm correct. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Some sort of pulled pork chip. I don't know, but I'm into it. Um, Zweebels. Okay, these look like onion rings. I'm gonna go with their onion rings. Um, marzipan kartoffin. Marzipan with cocoa powder. Okay, I'm here for it. I love marzipan. Love marzipan. Got ketchup fried potato chip thingies, which I usually am pretty into. Uh, we got cocoa dusted almonds. Yum. Another marzipan thingy. I'm, I'm assuming this one's probably covered in chocolate. We're gonna find out. A cola bon. This looks like caramel. Looks like caramels. I'm gonna go ahead and guess caramels. Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> Soft butter caramels, correct, correct. Okay, this one looks good. It's called Crunchy, it's called Sun Rice. Crunchy chocolate with puffed rice krispies. Sounds, sounds absolutely delicious. We'll see, we'll see. I get so excited about everything and then we taste it and it's like, all right. Not all of it, most of it's really great. Almond cinnamon cream filled wafers. Okay, so I've never had a flavor like that in a wafer cookie. So that's, that's exciting. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's some sort of chocolate confection. Stracciatella, str sounds Italian to me. Let's see, do we have a description? No, <laughs> I can't find it as usual. Oh, there we go, it's been 20 minutes, okay. Stracciatella Kugeln Balls, one of Germany's most famous chocolates. Okay. So, so that does not explain it. <laughs> uh, strawberry rhubarb chocolate bar, white chocolate. Okay, that sounds yum. 
I love, I love rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb, yes. Ooh, a cookie dough chocolate bar. Okay, okay, that's exciting. And then we have one more thing. Mini ox eye cookies. Well, those look delightful. Are they all one flavor? Yeah, they look like they're cherry. Delightful, okay. So as usual, I'm going to start with all the salty stuff because that's just what we're doing. That's how this is going to go. So, I don't know where to start first. We'll just, I guess I'll start with the smallest bag. These I think are going to be onion rings. Let's look and double check on that. So that's the Zweebels. Yes, yeah, spring onion rings. Ooh, spring onion rings. Okay, so that's like very specific. Like Funyuns, but spring onions. Oh my God, they're so tiny. They're so tiny. Yeah, that tastes like a Funyun, but like with more seasoning. Yep. That's delightful. Tastes like Funyun. Onward and upward, okay. These, this is, there's not very much in this bag. I don't know if you couldn't see that. Ketchup fries. Okay. These are good. These taste like those, those veggie straws that you can get that are like fried little crunchies, but with a ketchup tomato -y coating, which is delicious. So yes on the ketchup chips, nothing special, but definitely delicious. Okay, there's like, there's like four salty things in this snack box. Now for this peanut snack. I think these are gonna taste like those peanut snacks that they sell at Trader Joe's. You know the kind. Yeah, they kind of look like that too. Let's see. Very peanutty. It tastes a lot like those things, except for those things are like a little bit sweet. This is no sweetness to it whatsoever. It's very savory peanut flavor. Salted nut. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a big ass bag too. And it's like filled to the top. So this snack might last me a little bit. Just maybe, just maybe. Okay, now this is the salty snack that I am the most excited about. Oops, I opened it shitty. Oops, messed it up. Okay, now it looks like little bacon, those like bacon detail on these. I guess you can see that on the picture on the front. I just didn't notice it. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Does it taste like pulled pork? It does, actually. Like, yeah, that works. Mm-hmm. It's not like super full, but they're heavy, so there's like a, there's a decent amount in here. Okay. Those were good. <laughs> That's it, unfortunately, for salty, so I guess we're just moving on to sweet now. Ooh, I didn't notice this before. It's Bailey's Toffee Caramel. It's not just Toffee Caramel, it's Bailey's Toffee Caramel. Okay. Ooh, it smells like booze. <laughs> it smells boozy. It tastes boozy.
I will say, I definitely enjoy this, but I'm definitely boozy. If you're a recovering alcoholic, maybe stay away. Or if you really dislike the flavor of alcohol and confections, definitely stay away from these because they are boozy. Like, I was not expecting that. It definitely tastes like Bailey's. That is Bailey flavored caramel corn. Like, through and through, 100%. All right, where should we go next? Oh, I forgot about the little snack bag. I didn't even open it. I'm so bad at this. I'm fired. Okay, what do we got in here? Let's look at the... Oh, gross. Okay, that's that sounds gross. Strawberry licorice caramel. Or no, is it just strawberry and licorice? Strawberry and licorice caramels. That sounds truly disgusting. I have very low hopes for that. Or maybe they mean strawberry, that's strawberry licorice and this one's caramel. This one says cafe on it though, so I think that's this coffee flavor and I think there's just two different flavors of these. Which is correct, yes. Cappuccino, no caramels. Okay, and then we got German cola candy. I'm not a big fan of cola candies, but we're gonna give it a shot. And then we got these like sour candies, which fucking love sour candy, everybody knows that, so. Okay, I don't know what to try next. I guess I'll try this, this crunchy bar. I'm trying to open the package the right way. Oh, I did it. Nope, I failed. Spoke too soon. Still gonna go. Oh, it smells good. It smells rich. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. It's not Rice Krispies. It's a rice cake. Okay. Okay, Germany. Nope, no more layers to it. I had to take a couple bites to see if there was like other streaks of things through it. They're calling the puffed rice krispies. I was expecting rice krispies in here, but that is a rice cake covered in chocolate, which I'm not mad at. Just not what I was expecting when I went to taste that. Okay, cocoa dusted almonds. I feel like I know what this is gonna taste like. But I've been wrong before. Should've just stopped blowing my mouth. I mean, they're also covered in chocolate. Cocoa dusted. They're cocoa dusted and chocolate covered. Delicious. How can you go wrong? Now this I'm curious about. Cocoa powder marzipan. They've taped over most of the package, so I cannot grab it to open it correctly. Oh wait, I think I got it. I got it. I did it. Made it happen. Okay. For those of you that don't know what marzipan is, it is um, almond paste. I mean, it's a little more complicated than that, but. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I'm not sure if you taste the cocoa powder. That pretty much just tastes like marzipan, but I'm not mad about it. I guess it's time to see what these little, little doodads are, right? 
How do we open this box? Is there a correct way? Sideways? Underways? I'm gonna go underways. That looks like the way it should be. Yep, open here. I love it when they make it the way that it's supposed to be. Except for it says open here and then it's like not perforated. Oh fun, it comes with little, little sections, okay. Don't mind if I do. It looks like cookies and cream in there. It's just real sweet. Like real sweet. I feel like it tastes like just frosting, like inside of a chocolate bonbon. Traditional chocolate cream filled, it's cream, but is it? Nothing about that tastes like cream. It's, it's thick and dense like frosting. It's not my favorite, but I think people will like this one. Okay, it's just it's a little too sweet for me. Speaking of things being too sweet. Okay. Now we'll try the other marzipan, chocolate covered marzipan, which I know what it tastes like. I mean, I've said that before and I've been surprised still, but I don't believe that this is going to taste any different than any other marzipan covered in chocolate that I've ever eaten. Yeah. That tastes how I expected to taste, which is delicious. Delightful, exactly what I want it to be. Okay. Oh, this one's exciting. Cookie dough chocolate. I feel like I need more. I need some salty. Kind of, kind of come back in. I should switch it up. Should have saved some salty snacks. There's only four in this box. You hear it, Universal Yums. I want more salty snacks. I'm a salt queen. I love sweets, but like, there's a lot of sweets in here. This is the most disproportionately sweet Universal Yums box that I've received. Okay, let's see how the, hopefully this chocolate bar is sectioned out on the front. I can get a pip off and not have to take a bite out of it. Oh, it's not quite. Oh, oh, okay. It doesn't break easily either. Okay. I guess I'm eating this whole section because I don't know how to break it down any further. I guess I could just take a bite of it and put it away. I just drop chocolate on myself, yes. That's good. Yep, that's good. Tastes like exactly what it is. A cookie dough chocolate bar. And I'm into it. I don't know how to fold it back up and put it away, which is upsetting, but other than that, it is delicious. Okay. I'm gonna have a caramel. If I can open it. Not easy to open package. So I don't know why I got a whole roll of these and why it wasn't just like a little candy in the, the yums thing but I got a whole roll of butter caramels. I 
I'm just gonna take a little bite because I still have so much more sweets to eat. Mm. So, it's good, it's caramel. But it's like a little one notey kind of sweet to me, which I guess while I'm at it, we taste these two. How do we decide which ones to taste? That's a cola. I don't know what those are. Blueberries maybe? I don't know what these fruits are. That looks like a fashion passion fruit. Maracuja. I don't know what language this is in, but it does not look German. Grapefruit is spelled like grapefruit. I don't know what a Johannesberry is, but that's what flavor this is. I'm actually kind of excited for that. Okay, let's try the thing that I know I'm not gonna like. I mean, I don't know it, but I kind of know it. And that's the cola candy. Not a fan of cola candies. Never have been. This one is not brown though, so that's interesting. It's white. Yep, it tastes like cola. Oh, no it doesn't. Is this what cola tastes like in Germany? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh my God, I wish I could explain to you. The undertaste, there's like a, I don't know how to explain it. Almost root beer musky is bad i mean maybe you'll like it i do not like that sir oh that was terrible worst cola candy i've ever tasted that is not what cola tastes like <laughs> okay now we're gonna go with this johannes berry i've never fucking heard of it it's supposed to be sour love sour candy That's good. I can taste the taffy. It's kind of like a lappy taffy, but sour. They're good, but that also has a funny aftertaste. Like, like it's been sitting around for a while. Not saying it was, but that's what it tastes like. Okay. Strawberry rhubarb white chocolate. That is intriguing. Ooh, and it's so pretty. It's got real pieces of strawberries in it. I cannot break off a pib. Did you know that that's what it's called? I just learned that the other day. The sectioned out pieces of chocolate are called pibs. Smells really good. I've got high hopes for this one. Mm. Yes. Yes. I don't know that I taste the rhubarb. I definitely taste the strawberry. That is good. Why don't we have anything like that in America? Good question. Ooh, this smells interesting. This is the almond cinnamon wafer thingy okay i can't even get it out i'm gonna break it in half because it won't come out it's like stuck okay mm-hmm i like it 
I mean, it tastes like what it says. Spree waffle. What does that mean? Okay. Okay. I only have a couple more things to try. Okay. I have this. Okay. I I have low expectations for this. I don't like fruit and licorice combined. I think it's disgusting. We're going to give it a go. And it's somehow a caramel. It's a strawberry licorice caramel. I don't know. What I'm going to try to have an open mind. No. Or definitely not a caramel though. If it is. It's not as bad as the Dutch fruit jellies with the licorice. It's not terrible, actually. It's got the consistency of strawberry Laffy Taffy. So it tastes like a strawberry Laffy Taffy mixed a little bit with licorice. The licorice is not that strong. I might actually eat that. Look at me eating my words. Okay. Now here's a coffee cappuccino flavored caramel, which sounds delightful. And it is. That is delightful. It's real sweet though. I'm not gonna lie. That's like, if you had a coffee and you put like eight sugars in it. Okay. I need more salty again. Let's go back to the onion rings. Yeah, they definitely taste like Funyuns, but better. But they're smaller than Funyuns, they're like little dingers. All right. We're coming to a conclusion here. This is officially the last thing in the box. Some kind of a cookie. Fruit delicious with sour cherry filling. Well, oh, don't threaten me with a good time. Almond cookie. I can smell the almond extract. Mm, it's much softer than I thought it was going to be. It almost tastes like a macaroon. Not like a real macaroon. Not a French one either. Like those Jewish ones that they sell in the can from Manischewitz that don't taste anything like a real macaroon and definitely don't have real coconut in them. Or if they do, I don't know what the fuck they're doing to it. This tastes like that, but not coconutty. I don't know if that makes any sense. Is there coconut in here? No. Guess I'll never know. Is it sour? No. Is it a delightful cookie still? Yes. All right. I guess that's it. 
but out of this whole box, I'm going to have to go with these pulled pork snacks as the winner winner chicken dinner. They're really quite good. Okay. So that concludes the Germany box from Universal Yums. It's so delicious, you guys. I hope you guys are all getting these boxes too. So you can eat them with me and enjoy them with me. Um, I don't know. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think of these boxes. What's your favorite item in this box? And if you don't get the box, what do you think your favorite item would be? I don't know. But um, yeah, I had a blast eating this box with you. <sighs> yeah, I heard how it sounds. But only after I said it. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been a pleasure. Can't wait till the next box. <laughs> All right, bye.